All right, guys. Congratulations on winning a free skydiving lesson. Who's ready to heave themselves out of this plane flying at over 10,000 feet into the air? I am. I am. I am. He said heave yourself out of the plane, not heave your lunch, pair. <laughs> so remember, follow my direction as we fall. Keep an eye on your altimeter and deploy your parachute at 5,000 feet. Any questions? Where's my parachute? Orange! It's a thing strapped to your back. This? Nah. This is a backpack I brought filled with candy. Oh, give me that. No, not my snack pack. Put this on. You can't jump out of a plane with a backpack full of candy. But what if I get hungry? Oh, take this seriously, Orange. Okay, it's time to make the jump. On three, here we go. One. Two. 14, 27, 459, 82. 45, 33, uh, dude. <laughs> Last one out is a rotten tomato. Come on, bear. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Gangway. Hey, wait. I'm your instructor. This is so cool! No! This is horrible! Ah, uh, come on, Bear! Feel the air on your derriere! <laughs> Who needs sky riding when you have sky rhyming? <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> hey! You guys can't do stuff like that! You have to listen to me! Skydiving is dangerous! Yeah, don't be a party pooper! Skydiving isn't dangerous! Now sky chainsaw! That's dangerous! Yeah! Take this, Klaus! <laughs> Woo! What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> Barrel roll! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! yeah uh -uh. Hey! Stop that right now! This is not a toy! Nor does it belong in a skydiving lesson. Now knock it off. Um, do you think it was wise to just toss that running chainsaw into the air like that? I'm sure it'll be fine. Now then, for your own safety and as your instructor, you need to listen to me. Boring. Hey, hey, tomato butt. My name is Greg. Okay, hey, Gregory, tomato butt. It's just Greg. Hey, hey, Gregory, Greg, Greg, tomato butt pants. That's even further from what I just said. Hey, Gregorius, Potamus, tomato butt farts the third. Holy moly, what is wrong with you? Buddy, just do us all a favor and let it go. The only way this is going to stop is if you just ask him what. Fine, what? What do you want, Orange? What? Oh, I just wanted to tell you about the flying motorboat. What? Where? Right here. <laughs> Woo! Would you please listen to me? What's that? I can't hear you over the sound of bear barfing. <laughs> wow, you're a real vomit comet, Pear. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> We're best friends. It's an inside joke we have. Orange, not to be a Debbie Downer, but I think Tomato has something important to say. Ah, all right. What do you got, Sir General Tomato Butt Pants the Third? That's not my... Ugh. Okay. What I was trying to say is that we're almost to 5,000 feet. Fantastic! Well, I've lived my whole life without any feet, so this is a big moment for me. <laughs> no! 5,000 feet in the air! It's almost time to release the chutes! You want to see me in my birthday suit, you perp? Ugh. Okay, to release your chute, all you have to do is pull this cord. Ready? Here. We. Go! Ugh. Why is there candy where my parachute should be? Yay! Snack time! I get the Snickers bar! Oh, no! <laughs> Woohoo! That was so much fun! <laughs> oh, thank God we're on land again! Hey, nice landing, dude! Yeah, you really know how to make a splash with your entrance! <laughs> you idiot! How I didn't get killed is a miracle! Hey, I'm not the one that put hunger before safety. Ah, you, sir, are an imbecile. You're the most annoying, irresponsible food I've ever... Saw? Yes! You're the most annoying food I ever saw! No! Saw! Hey, everyone. Hair in Orange here. Today's episode of How To is gonna let us spread our wings, plain and simple. <laughs> That's 
right. Today, we'll show you how to fly a plane. And we think you're pretty great too, redheaded cat cake. Now it's time for this episode to take flight. Step one, learn from nature. Um, I guess that's true. There's a lot to be learned about thrust and aerodynamics from animals. No, 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 not that. Mama birds kick their babies out of the nest when they're old enough. That way they have to learn to fly. If you wanna learn how to fly a plane, do it like that. Huh? Get in that plane and fly. Just do it. Um, Orange, learning to fly a plane takes years of training. You don't got years, you got seconds. Obey your instincts. Uh, oh, Orange, I... What are you made of? Fly, bear, fly! Fly! Oh, oh, Orange, that was awesome. I know. I knew you had it in you, buddy. And you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. We're best friends. No, we aren't. Can't hear you. No ears. <laughs> Now that we've learned to operate the plane, it's time for step two, practice dive bombs. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, dude, I'm not ready for dive bombs. Tough patooties, cause dive bomb practice begins right now. <laughs> oh, hey, what the? Oh, hey, this coffee is super hot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good thing that didn't spell on my computer. That would have been catastrophic. Okay, Orange, that is enough dive bombing. There's more to flying an airplane than just dive bombing the air traffic control tower, you know. Right as always, Bear. Another important step of flying a plane is... Gauging the altitude, learning to use the rudders, general safety. Nope. Tying fun messages onto the back of the plane so everyone can read them. Uh, <laughs> Orange, there are so many other important things we need to learn about flying a plane before we... Start breaking world records? Because that's step four. Did you know no one's ever flown a plane into outer space? You could be the first if you keep your chin up. <laughs> no, we're not flying this plane into space. We're landing safely, and then we're going to learn about planes the right way. The boring way, you mean? Yes, the boring way. Okay, okay, fine. We'll land the plane in a second. Not in a second, right now. When? Right now! Right now? Wait. Oh, finally. Got everything cleaned up. Yeah. And... <laughs> Oh, 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 come on! Uh-oh. Oh. Attention, firm lovers! This is your pilot speaking. We're in for a bumpy ride, because I don't know how to fly this thing! <laughs> All right, give me that! Huh? I didn't even get to do my Bane impression! <laughs> hey, everyone! Hair and Orange here with another episode of How To. We're really winging it today, because this episode is both aeronautical and aeroradical! <laughs> That's right! Because today we're going to show you how to make a paper airplane. Oh boy. Buckle your seatbelts and pull up the straps for me, folks. Because this ain't going to be easy. It isn't? Step one for designing an airplane. Get out your calculator because it's going to take a lot of math. Hmm, carry the one. Lift force minus the square root of G. Air velocity times wind resistance. Or orange, orange. Can I interrupt you for just one second? Okay. Wow. You totally wrecked my train of thought, but okay. I don't think they're asking how to make an actual airplane. Well, duh. They're asking how to make an airplane out of paper, which is way harder. So if you'll excuse me, I have to beautiful mind this sucker. What? Carry the one. Fart propulsion divided by nya nya. Lift yeah, your yeah, yeah, orange. What? I'm sorry, but I don't think that's what they're asking either. I think they want to know how to make this a paper airplane. <laughs> they want to know how to make that? Yeah. <laughs> Why would they be asking about that? Step one, fold some paper. Step two, chuck it at your teacher. Boom, there you go. That's an awfully short video, don't you think? Well, sure, now, but... Now, excuse me. It's time for step two. More math. Oh, brother. Square root of Sir Isaac Newton divided by two trains traveling toward each other. Hey! <laughs> would you stop goofing around, Pear? I'm doing equations so complex my mind could explode at any moment. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I just heard you mention the square root of Sir Isaac Newton. Ha! Get it down! Hey! You stop that right now or I'm sending you to the principal's office. Ugh. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for step three. Even more math! Carry the one, negative infinity times negative zero divided by the vector of trigonometry. Ugh. Ignore a pair, carry the one. Ignore a pair, be careful not to think so hard and your brain explodes. Ignore a pair, carry the part. Yeah. Ignore the pain in your forehead, keep thinking, carry the one. Nine apples gives us seven, gives us the square root of the square root of root. Two, 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 now, pair. I'm at the cusp of a breakthrough. Uh, but your head. My head is awash with brilliant math. I have no time for your nonsense. But there's no buts. Wait, yes, buts. Buts is the key to everything. Carry the one multiplied by buts. Nine buts take away seven buts, and that gives a square plus a buts fill. Boom! I've done it. I think boom is right, dude. Huh? 